Greetings, saints of God. This is Chris coming to you all with another video. Um, as you can see, the title says, um, All saints, all believers need to come together in every state. Um, I Usually when I start these videos, I just jump right on. I just go cold turkey right off the top. Not, you know, planning them out most of the time. I just allow the Lord to lead and guide me what to say. Uh, but, but this video, the reason I'm coming with this one is because most of you, you know, we're faced with having to give up our jobs for the sake of uh, freedom. You know, they've taken our freedom and our choice away and they're forcing things on us and they're using fear factor, scare tactics today to try to get us all to do what they want us to do. And from seeing the comments of many of you, I see a lot of you don't, you're not falling for it. You're not wanting to do it. I hear, well, I see people putting in the comments, they're going to have to hold me down and, and jab me. I'm not going to just take it willingly. But I'm, I'm saying in this video that, as you guys know in the Bible, whenever a dictator or any person arose, God's people always came together. They put their resources together. It, whenever there was a famine, you know, if you guys read in the book of Acts, it shows that when there was a famine, everybody sold their possessions and they all put it basically in one pot and nobody said that this is mine or that's mine. That was around the time Ananias and Sapphira, husband and wife, died because they lied to the Holy Spirit. They lied to God. I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with that story, but as you can see, the saints came together, and it, it was in the old covenant as well. God's people came together, and I'm saying to you who are alive today in 2021 that you all need to come together in your several states, whatever state you're in, meaning your location whether you're on the East Coast, West Coast, Central America, wherever you are, you guys need to come together. I don't know who's gonna lead it, who's gonna start it, but if you guys just stay on uh, social media and see who's got land, who's offering their land for such a thing, and they are believers and they're asking or calling for all believers to come to that land, to that place as a place of gathering and refuge. And I'm talking uh, people of faith gathering together, not doubters, not people who are outside of the body of Christ, those who don't have faith, who are basically waverers. They waver in their faith. Those people you can't trust. You know, the scripture says uh, people are going to betray one another in the times we're in. So I'm speaking to people of faith. You all need to get together in your several states and put your resources together. And this has to happen now. We can't put it off. It, it's real. It's going down right now. You know, I'm forced to look for other employment. And, you know, my manage, my manager, he said, you know, I'll put in a good word for you somewhere else. But I'm pretty sure at that location, they're going to require it as well. They're going to force, you know, us to 
get vaccinated or lose your job. But if 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 the if you all are faced with that choice and you're like, I don't know what to do, and I really don't want to give in to getting something against my will, I mean, really consider getting together, uh, reaching out to fellow believers to join you in that effort to put your resources together. Yeah, many people have their different reasons why they, they don't want to take the vaccination. You know, it, it's just, it's a lot of good, valid reasons. And really, it's really about choice. I, I really feel we all should have choice. They shouldn't take our free will away. And I do sense that something is in the spiritual realm, which we are wrestling against, is trying to turn us against one another, the vaccinated versus the unvaccinated, to kind of start like a civil war, a modern day civil war. You know, we're not blind. We, we can see what's trying to happen. And if you all didn't know, uh, I found out that these vaccines, they don't last forever. It's not like you're going to get one shot and you're done. It, 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 I think I heard one video said it's last to like eight months, six or eight months. And so my question is, so when it wears off, you, you all have to go back and get it again. Yeah, I really, I, I read plenty of uh, comments that people put on under these videos. You know, one man said he's not to be experimented on. And, you know, and that's right. If he feels that he's being experimented on, then it's true. He is. You know, we all are. Only later you know, down the road will we find out what's going to happen when we keep getting uh, these man-made vaccines pumped into us. But who's going to care? Who's going to care uh, for what happens to us? I really believe most people that's getting the vaccine without questioning it, you know, or studying the, the ingredients, they just fear death. They have a fear of death. A lot of believers, true believers, we're like, we shouldn't be afraid of death. We're ready to go, you know, to live is Christ, to die is gain, not loss. You know, a lot of people just don't have faith. They don't have faith in God. They don't have peace with their maker. There's different reasons why people are just trusting in this thing, trusting in science. Yeah, I believe in uh, man's race to try to outwit God. He can destroy himself. Because all of you who are believers, you know that because of the sins of a people, because of the sins of a nation, is all of these uh, plagues and judgments coming upon us. You know, it is true. Whatever we sow, we will reap. It is true. So what I do, what I see is reaping time. Nobody is exempt. And it seems man is in a race to try to stop God's hand. Nobody can stop his hand. You know, he said it clearly in his word. If I send the pestilence. You know, most people will say God is not doing this. This is the devil. 
You know, there's plenty of scriptures that I could show you to where God allows these things. And he says why he allows them. It's because uh, the sin has reached heaven. It peaked out. You know, because if you didn't know, we have done a lot of heinous things. There's been many abortions of innocent babies. You know, look at how they are allowing two sexes to marry and, and raise a, a kid. I mean, and it's more things. It's just regular sins. People just not caring or minding God or seeking God. This pestilence has come and it's on a mission. But I believe in man's race to try to beat the hand of God, he can destroy himself. And I believe every heart is now being shown for who we really are. A lot of people, they'll regret things later. They'll make quick, hasty choices, but yet they'll regret it later. But while we have time, while it's called today, while we're hearing a message like this, let's, let's make the right choice. You know, most people, they're worried. If I take it, am I in trouble with God? I mean, I can't answer that right now. You know, what is your conscience telling you? Sometimes if, if a person asks a question, they already said their answer. They, they know the answer. So we all got choices to make, you know, either uh, a lot of people, a big body of people, we have to stand up. You know, a lot of people are protesting, trying to protest this thing away. Number two option, you can just trust God, have faith. He's going to take care of you. You know, or number three, you know, come together as they always did throughout history. There's nothing new under the sun, especially for we who are called saints. We got to come together. People won't join us. You know, the world will love their own. The road to perdition, many go in that way. Few will find the road to life. You know, I told somebody once, I said, that's how you'll know when something's bad, when the majority is flocking toward it. Because the Lord says the road to destruction, many go that way. Few will go on the path of life. So keep that in mind. You know, I'm, I'm not making a long video. I just wanted to jog uh, your memory as far as the scriptures. And I wanted to put a thought in your mind. And I want to give advice. Come together. We got to come together. If you guys got any ideas, let me know. Don't hesitate to comment. Let me know anybody in the Kentucky area that agrees with this. Let me know anybody in the Michigan area that agrees to this. Let me know if anybody's in the Ohio area that agrees to this. Okay, this is Chris signing off. Stay tuned for more videos and, and do look at videos that I already posted. I'm pretty sure it'll help somebody. Okay, coming to you as I always do, coming real, just being myself, not, nothing fake about me. I don't even edit the videos all that much. I just put it out there. If I make a mistake, oh well. All right, take care. God bless, and I love you guys. Thank you for your support and prayers. Shalom.